In today's video, I'm going to give you five tips to get better at Football Manager. Welcome back to FM Base. That is right. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys five tips to improve your self, I guess, at Football Manager and improve how you play the game. I've compiled a list of five different tips, some that'll help you with things like scouting, some things that might help you tactically, some things that are just good to know uh, in the game. Hopefully they're of some use to you guys. These are kind of things that I didn't really know and knowing them really, really helped me get better at this game. So hopefully they'll be able to help you guys as well today. So if you are excited for today's video, feel free to hit a like and subscribe down below on the way to 3000 subscribers over here on FM base it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button and help us get there but yes without further ado let's get on to today's video and start with tip number one change is bad sometimes what I mean by that and I know it's kind of ironic that I've moved location for this but what I mean by that is that sometimes in football manager change is not what your team needs specifically I'm talking about after you've put in your brand new formation at the beginning of the season first game of the season, and it doesn't work. You lose that first game of the season. Maybe you're a West Ham playing a Southampton and you lose 1-0 to Southampton in the first game of the season with your brand new tactic. That's not the end of the world. It takes time for your players to learn new tactics. It takes time for your team to gel with their new roles, their new instructions, everything like that. So give your team time. Let them learn the tactic. You may... You may need to change a few different things here, like changing someone from a support role to an attacking role if you're a bit more dominant in a game, stuff like that. You can tweak, for example, your defensive line. Say your team is getting in behind a lot. You can pull your defensive lines back a little bit. Stuff like that is good. But if you've built this brand new tactic that you know is relatively good, changing it after one game is not going to help you. I've fallen victim to this a lot of times. Changing everything after every single game when it doesn't work initially. Don't do it. Keep it simple, it'll really help your team out. Tip number two, how to sell players for their value. Now this tip could honestly be a video in itself. It is really quite difficult sometimes to do this. There is times where I've tried to offer out players that are worth like 10 million and you only get bids of one to two million for him. And you're like, it says his value is 10 million. Why aren't they offering me 10 million for him? Well, there is a few different reasons why this could be in your game. Uh, for example, he might not be playing regularly enough. His contract might be out very, very shortly. And the third one is maybe Maybe if you are playing in a league like the Premier League, players are very overvalued in the Premier League. Especially if they're not very good, they could be valued at way higher than they should be. And it can be pretty difficult to get to the right value if you're a Premier League side trying to get rid of some deadwood. To actually be able to sell your players for their right value, for the value that you think they're worth, you really need to be working ahead of time. Sometimes if their contract's coming up, you need to be able to realize this and sell them the window or the summer before their contract expires to get them off the books. Because if they hit January, they can instantly move to other clubs for free. And usually that can also go one or two ways. They might either want a new contract and then you're gonna have to keep them for at least another season and a half, or they're gonna get annoyed and want to leave the club because you haven't offered them a contract and then you'll lose them for free. So one thing I would recommend is be patient with the players that you want to sell. For example, in my Portsmouth save over on Twitch, I got promoted in back-to-back -back seasons with Portsmouth to the Premier League. And then all of my players' values shot up instantly. The main one was this player, Jordi Haiwula, who is now, we're in 2024, he's now moved to De Denzilispor. I'm so bad at pronunciations. Regardless, he was amazing for me in the championship and in League One. But we got to the Premier League and he was no longer good enough. But he was valued at like 10 million the whole time. No one was obviously offering 10 million for him. He's not worth 10 million. But I still wanted to get some good money for him because we couldn't. He wasn't usable for us in the in the Premier League anymore. He wasn't good enough. Um, but we were a brand new Premier League club and we really needed the money to be able to compete. So what did I do? I moved him out on loan for a season. He went out on loan for a season to St. Johnston and basically banged in the goals for them. He scored 12 goals in 33 games, not amazing, but he played a 6.84 average rating for them. And then the following season, we were able to sell him for 5.5 million. The first season in League One when we had him, he was valued at like 500k or something. 
and then uh, a few seasons later able to sell him on for five and a half million a player that we're not using a player that we'll never use again got his wages off the books and we're able to sell him relatively easy to this team in Turkey. So that is one example of something you can do where you can just really plan ahead with your players and give them a season out on loan to prove to, I guess, the world that they can still play. Maybe they're not getting game time in the Premier League because he definitely wasn't good enough for us by that point, um, but they can still do something for certain teams, and this team in Turkey have... Got a very good player in Jordi Haiwala that's just not good enough for the Premier League. So yeah, if you're trying to sell a player that you can't seem to get the right amount of money for, be patient. Think ahead of time. Give them some game time. Maybe play them in the under-23s if they really desperately need game time. Or maybe even loan them out for a season so they can get that game time and then you'll be able to move them on for some decent money. Tip number three, scout youth teams. In my opinion, scouting youth teams is the number one way to find Wonder Kids. Scout every single under 18s, under 19s, under 21s youth team across the whole world. Obviously, you'll need a lot of scouts to do that, but scout the ones where you think there'll be some good Wonder Kids and you will find them there very easily. I know you can kind of wire the world, set up scouts in every different region to scout Wonder Kids, but what I would recommend doing is going specifically to uh, under 19s, under 18 squad and scouting those players in South America like Brazil, Argentina, Colombia. I found some amazing players in my Portsmouth save from Colombia um, from using this method. Um, I found a really, really awesome Paraguayan striker who I got on a 3 million release clause using this method. It works. I would recommend 100% that you scout youth teams and find the best Wonder Kids from there. It's very simple, you literally have to go to the youth teams and select all, uh, click on one, press control A, uh, scout all of them, and when they come back with their first initial scouts, all the ones that look terrible, just discard them instantly, but then keep scouting the ones that could be relatively promising, and sometimes you'll find that gem, that Wonder Kid that's available very cheap, very early on, that you'll be able to snap up for cheap. Tip number four, abused senior affiliates and loans. So this next tip is kind of a bit of a hack. It's something that I've done a lot of times in this save that I've talked about constantly in this video. It is using and abusing the loan and senior affiliate markets to get some amazing players into your team for many, many seasons. Of course, if you didn't know in your save, you can go over to finances, go to make board requests, um, networking, and there will be uh, requests a senior affiliate. It won't be the affiliate one, it'll say senior affiliate. I obviously can't do it because I'm in the Premier League in the save. But then it will bring you back a list of options of clubs that are able to be your senior affiliate and you'll be able to get plays from them on loan for absolutely free. This is something that I did in this portal save. First season I got Manchester City as a senior affiliate. The first season they didn't have anyone too good for me to use but in the second season I got a little known player named Tommy Doyle and this is Tommy Doyle now. He's still a Manchester City player. I've had him on loan for nearly four seasons now. Yes this is his fourth season on loan at the club and that entire time I have paid Manchester City zero Great British Pounds for his services. How did I do this? Well, I had Manchester City as my senior affiliate when I was in the championship. I brought him in on loan for zero pounds per week. And then near the end of the season, before the season actually finished, I went in to transfer make an offer and loan to end of next season. And once again, they're honestly going to let me do it again for the following season. So it says here, end of next season, 0%, 0%, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Going to do that regular starter. And I could get Tommy Doyle for a fifth season in a row for absolutely free. So it is kind of a hack because um, it's kind of almost a glitch in the game that you're able to do this with your players. But it is something that I have used very successful with Tommy Doyle. He has been so good for me in the save. One of our best players throughout. If it's available to do in the game, why wouldn't you do it? Of course, a few things with this one. You do have to be in a lower league and able to get a senior affiliate from a better league. You also normally can only do it from clubs in your actual country. So if, say, you're in... Poland for some reason you can't get like Bayern Munich as your senior affiliate that doesn't really work out for you so yeah if you're in the lower leagues of England try get a senior affiliate try get some loans for free and absolutely abuse the hell out of it tip number five morale is everything so the final tip is morale is everything of course you've probably had this a million a million times if your team's in a slump 
the worst thing you can do is do nothing with it. What you have to do is not only keep it simple, like I said in one of the first tips in this video, but you have to keep building your team up. Every time you get one of those training reports through, praise the players who are doing well. Also, if you're in a real big slump, one thing you can do that has definitely worked for me in the past is go through your team and go to every single player at the top you can have a talk to them, praise their conduct, praise their training, and it will change their morale just a little bit, just from like okay to good, and that could mean the world for your team, because morale is so important in this game. If your player's down, if they're in a dismal mood or whatever, they won't be able to perform for your team. And it is just small little advantages you can get like that, like being able to uh, have your team have good morale all the time is gonna make a world of difference for your team. So I would recommend, if you're in a slump, if you need something to improve your team, make sure you've got the morale right so you know that if something's wrong, it's not the morale being bad. It could be your tactics, it could be something else, the players that you have aren't good enough, but you know for certain it is not the morale. So guys, that is going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, of course, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe down below. So close to 3,000 subscribers. It'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe. But yes, that is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you a lot in the next video very, very shortly. Bye-bye.